वेलकम टू बेसिक शॉर्ट सर्किट कैलकुलेशन डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन वीडियो सो नाउ बिफोर वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ वी कैन यूज हैंड कैलकुलेशन इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट सिंपल शॉर्ट सर्किट फॉर सिंपल नेटवर्क सो नाउ हेयर वी आर टेकिंग द सेम नेटवर्क एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट शॉर्ट सर्किट थ्रू ई टैप एंड कंपेयर आर रिजल्ट विद द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट सो इफ वी सी हेयर वट डू वी हैव वी हैव पावर ग्रिड so for this power grid what do we have if we go into the short circuit so we have a power grid of 25 kilo short circuit current with a x by r of 15 so we modeled this and now the percentage values of r and x at 100 mva base are 0.116 and 1.74% so this is exactly what is shown here you can get this value simply by going to display option and for the power grid uh, check z so this way you can will you will be able to get the z value similarly for the transformer we have a transformer 20 mva transformer and if we see the impedance of this transformer we have a impedance of 9% with an x by r of 18.6 so r and x value so because we directly we have to calculate the percentage z so we are not taking care of r and x at this moment so we are mostly considered with percentage z which is 9% here 9% or 9 divided by 100 will be equal to 0.09 and we have a static load so static load means it is not going to have any contribution because no motor is there or no rotating load is there because usually the short circuit current is contributed by the rotating load so rotating load can either be a generator in the system or some uh, induction motor or induction generator so since we do not have any induction uh, motor here so no contribution should come from this and for loading we simply used a 15 mva load with a power factor of 9% which is not going to impact our short circuit at all so this is the same almost same network which we used for the load flow analysis so this is the same network if you created this network before you can you simply use the same network however i have done only one change instead of the lump load i have used static load because for now in order to understand the basic calculation we are not interested in the motor load so how do we calculate short circuit for calculating short circuit simply you have to go to from here this was power flow now this time you have to go to short circuit without going into the detail of which type of method we are using we are simply going to calculate short circuit so without changing anything in my system i simply go here and we can select where we want to select short circuit so if i see here let this pass i do not want the short circuit here so i am going to click here you can simply right click and make sure that this fault is checked so uh, check of this fault means that the short circuit will be calculated for this so if i calculate for if i see this is unchecked here so if i will check this becomes maroon also it means it is also going to be considered but for now i only want to calculate for It's my 69 kV bus, so I'm only selecting 69 kV bus. So now, for simply calculating three-phase fault, what you have to do? Calculate three-phase duty. So simply run this. When I click on run, the tab is going to take time and going to give me the value, which is equal to 1.79. If you remember from our hand calculation, we calculated the value as 1.789. So rounding off to 1.789. to uh, two digits we almost end up with 1.79 kilo ampere so this way our hand calculation is matching with the e tap calculation so this gives us the confidence that whenever we are going to calculate the fault current we are going to end up with the same values